Okay, this is a little proof of concept to see if we can take some lines, some AutoCAD lines into Grasshopper Rhino and see if we can auto detect some rooms. So, very crudely, let's just draw some rooms. Um, yes, this works mainly on square rooms. So, very quickly, just some um, an array of rooms. We'll reference that into Grasshopper, and you can see that this is a copy of the original lines, and you can see that it's matched the rooms and identified the rooms. This big room here, it's split into two, um, and further refinement of this script will need to just check if two adjacent B reps are actually part of one, one big room. Um, but it's, it's done a relatively decent job. Let's clear that. Obviously if there were some doorways, if, if the ruins were so nicely drawn, it probably wouldn't be such a an issue. But let's show you what happens if we break some of these lines, like let's say you have some doorways. Okay, so we'll select these and we'll reference this into Grasshopper. And you can see that it still manages to read that these are individual rooms, obviously um, these two. And you can, you can, you can select um, these room panels individually and that's and that's the main thing what you can do after there I'll, I'll show you at the end so let's clear that let's uh, take another example this is taken from a real real project and I'm going to reference these in here so you can see what because this is from an uh, architect's drawing, you can see that there are wall thicknesses as well. And how will this script deal with that? So we'll s select those and reference that into Grasshopper. Well, it's not connected. Here we go. Let me just hide these reference lines. So you can see this is the original copy of the architect's plan and you can see how the script has dealt with it. It's picked off the three rooms at the top, the big hall in the middle. Um, it doesn't do... it does squares nicely and dealing with triangles it struggles with. So you can see 8 and 1. Um, and this re-entrance it also struggles with as well and it's missed out that there's a separate room here but otherwise the script is fairly robust um, and further further development can be done to, to try and join up these rooms the thickness of the walls confuses the meshing um, and if you can clean up the walls you'll get a better result so for example, if I clean this up, here's one of the preps earlier, you can see it's much more cleaner. 10 and 2, it's picked up two different rooms there and the re-entrant. This room here in the middle, 9 and 7, it hasn't joined up. 8 and 1, it hasn't joined up, but I think for the, for the development of the scripts can fix that. What should we do with this? Well, we can do some... Um, the, the the main reason for doing this was to look at um, room allocations for loading plans and how we could do ro loading plans in a more automated way. So for example, let's say these three are going to be one room type. These two are going to be one room type. This is going to be one room type.
Okay, so I'm just going to allocate these lines as different room types. So I will say these three rooms is a residential. I will say these two or these three are offices. These two are halls. And this is a plant room. Okay. What you can then do is just import a load table in from Excel as a CSV file, comma, a separated value file. Um, and then it basically brings in your room type and your KPA for each for each type. And then the important thing here is to entwine the rooms in the right order. So office, resi, plant. So office first, resi second, plant third, hall fourth. Once you've done that, Grasshopper can just easily allocate these rooms for us. Okay, so it's allocated 1.5 for the resis, five for the hall, seven and a half for the plant rooms. Okay, and that's relatively easy. Um, you can obviously check for the room type. And if you want, you can put a legend. So we can allocate, set one rectangle, just set a legend next door, okay, 1.5. Just a proof of concept of taking in an architect's drawing in into Grasshopper, recognizing all the different rooms and then allocating it to draw a heat map of, of a loading plan and room allocation.